Hey, how you doing? Um, I, my, my primary purpose um, for this video is to share some some things that uh, that I've learned um, over the years. Uh, some of you might have seen some of my other videos, and they they revolve around um, biblical beliefs, what I believe, and what I believe is the truth. And uh, you know what you know what the Bible teaches is that you need to be born again in order to get to heaven. Uh, if you want to learn how to be born again, you can check out some of my other videos. But um, you know, so we need to be born again. And then what this video is about is what happens after you get born again or as soon as you get born again what happens um, the Bible teaches that you've turned you turned into a new creature okay even though I still look like Bob Jandron and I still act a lot of the same the same way um, there's something very different about me and that's because I've been changed and not because I've done it it's because of what God's done in me and uh, you know you know, we, we, we're talking a fine line here. You know, we're talking about something that's a miracle. We're talking about something that's uh, really hard for a lot of people to absorb and to understand. But, um, you know, if you believe that God created us and created this world, um, you have to believe that he has a plan for us. And it's all, it's in the Bible, recorded in the Bible, what he, what he has done, what he expects us from us, um, you know, in order to get into heaven okay so you know I've already taught on being born again okay so what is being born again what happens alright I mean just quickly I'll say to be born again you need to you need to understand you need to believe in Jesus Christ that he's our Redeemer understand that we're we're sinners and um, this is why we can't get into heaven but by believing that Jesus Christ died for our sins and became uh, sin for us, or absorbed our sin, sin to Himself, um, and, and by trusting in Him doing that, this is how you get saved, you know. And then you have to call on Jesus Christ in prayer to tell Him that you understand who He is and what He's done for you, and basically to repent, turn from our old ways, our old understandings, and understand what God's way is. Okay. So what happens? All right, when you get saved, and what happens is you turn into a new creature. Okay, I still have the flesh here. I still have my skin, my flesh and blood and bones. So everything, everything looks the same. But there's something different inside me, <clears throat> uh, which is the Holy Spirit. You know, the Bible teaches that once you get saved, the Holy Spirit comes in you, and this is what changes you. This is what makes you a new creature. Okay, so if I could try to explain what that is. Um, say for instance like if we take uh, something for example like um, some two, two, two totally different things all right say for instance like we if we, like we have hydrogen we know hydrogen is a gas okay we know we know oxygen is a gas okay and the two totally separate elements two totally different two totally different properties okay but when you put them together, a reaction takes place. If you take, uh, I believe it's two H2O. Okay, so I think that's two hydrogen and one oxygen. I'm not a, I'm not a chemist, but I think we're all familiar with H2O. Okay, you take two of one and one of the other, and it makes, it makes water, which is a totally different element from the original uh, elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, now it's water, totally different. Okay, and that's sort of like what being born again is. You take this old body, this old flesh, this old soul, and this old body, and then you call on you call on Jesus and you trust in Him. Then the Holy Spirit comes in you. Now you're a totally new, different element. Okay, and you're, to, you're a totally different um, being, a person, and and this is called, called being a born again Christian. Okay, um, and it's and it's true. You know, it's kind of hard to swallow, but this is just the way it is. And I can give you some scripture to tell you that this is what happens okay um, if we go to uh, let's see Psalm 43 okay chapter 40 verse 3 it says and he hath put a new song in my mouth even praise unto our God many shall see it and fear and trust in the Lord okay and then we go to Ezekiel 
eleven nineteen. And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will make the stony heart out of their flesh, and will give them a, a heart of flesh. Okay, and then we can go to Romans chapter 6, verse 3. It says, Know ye not that so many of us are baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Okay, verse 6 says, Knowing that this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Okay, verse 7 says, For he that is dead is freed from sin. Okay, let's go to... 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Okay, let's go to Galatians 6, 15. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Basically, circumcision and uncircumcision is talking about um, the, the the Jew and their their in the Old Testament and their beliefs in the Ten Commandments and they were circumcised to basically uh, promise to follow the Ten Commandments. But we know that nobody can follow the Ten Commandments. Uncircumcision is basically a Gentile. Okay, so so anyway, it says, uh, but it says basically neither. Okay, it says um, neither circumcision avail of anything nor circumcision but a new creature okay so no matter if you follow the law or you don't follow the law is what it's saying they don't matter it's becoming a new creature is what you need to do okay all right let's go to Ephesians 424 and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness okay let me flip the page here let's go over to uh, Matthew 18.3 Okay. <clears throat> and said, Verily, I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, okay, this is like more like pure and like, like new and like willing to learn, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Let's go to Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay, James 5.19 Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. So, so that's my message today. Okay, you need to be born again to get into heaven. Okay, and to be born again, you need to trust in Jesus Christ that He's your Savior. Okay, and you can't. And it doesn't matter if you try to follow the laws or whether you don't follow the laws and try to be a good person or whatever it is you think that you can get into heaven. It is that you need to do to get into heaven. Uh, you got to kind of have a new have an understanding that that is not the way the way is through Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by him okay this is God's word that is this is what he's given us and I'm just sharing the message I'm a born-again Christian sharing the message with you and I hope uh, I hope that helps you so may may God may God bless you have a great day